Hello and welcome to the Clock Cleaners Podcast. I'm Matt. And I'm Keith. And today we're doing our WWE Week in Review. The road to WrestleMania has come to an end. And we are just at WrestleMania. I was going to say, I don't think you understand how roads work. <laughs> you don't You don't get five days before the destination. Oh my and god. Then... This is fun. I like well, this. Okay, so, so what do we have left to go before? Because NXT has nothing to do There's with WrestleMania. Access... There's um, there's the Hall of Fame. Okay. Um, so you're welcome. I guess I, I it just still has it, no it, bearing on WrestleMania. So, so still Wednesday. I guess that's four days true. Now. Yeah, fine. Be yes. that way. Yes. There is your victory. I win. Technically, the road to WrestleMania ends at the end of the pre-show. All right. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah. I'm so, on SmackDown here. So uh, basically, if you didn't watch Raw or SmackDown, or I should say, if you haven't watched anything up until Raw and SmackDown, mm-hmm. that was the reason for this week's Raw and SmackDown. <laughs> yeah, well, it's basically <laughs> just five hours of a long commercial for WrestleMania. Yep. Which is, you know, fine. They're obviously trying to sell to the non, uh, or I guess the casual audience who I, aren't necessarily already yes. subscribed to I mean, the that's network. like super casual. That's like... I don't even know if it's casual at that point. I guess I don't know. It's like you're like an acquaintance with the well, w- yeah, I guess so. WrestleMania. But I think a lot of people just tune in for like WrestleMania. Big. Well, I mean, and to be fair, they now have Ronda Rousey in a match. That's true. So that would draw people. Yeah, and they made it perfectly clear that Wrestle or that the WWE Network is free or WrestleMania is free for new subscribers because of. Uh, you know the month free trial that you get every time or any time you any time but the first you know. time i wonder what their jump actually is around this time of year um it's a good question i don't really know yeah i know their subscriber counts seem surprisingly low what in general yeah. or but i also don't know the figure recently well, that and i'm sure there's a lot of sharing as well oh yeah but uh anyway yep so uh, the show opens, or Raw opens, mm. uh, with a face-to-face sit-down, I guess akin to like a boxing or UFC, UFC thing. Yeah, almost like the weigh-in, right? Yeah. yeah. Um, where it was uh, Angle and Rousey with uh, um, Stephanie and Triple H, mm-hmm. and Coach was overseeing it for yep. some reason. <laughs> I guess he was seen as the legitimate sports person. It worked for ESPN and everything. Let's it's, put him out there. It's true. He's just, you know. He was just there. His coach. Yep. He was there just to read the Twitter questions. Yeah. And he was saying that it was going to be legitimate and respectful yeah. instead of, like, the UFC ones right. or some stupid mm-hmm. like that. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, there's a couple of Twitter questions they put up, and they answered them. Nothing really got answered. No. We don't even know if the, the questions were actually real questions. <laughs> they could have just been placeholder questions. Oh, duh. Um, so Triple H tells Ronda that uh, the reason why they're going to lose on Sunday is because of Kurt Angle. Um, mm-hmm. So I guess they're trying to pit them against each other. Yeah. Or, you know, Triple H is definitely trying to play mind games this or whatever. This was more of that video that they had last week where Triple H and Stephanie said, this is our world mm-hmm. and, you know. Yeah, so Ronda's going to suffer her first loss, and we all know how Ronda takes losses. Yeah. Well, yeah, that was, that was kind of... It was funny. Yeah. It was funny. I know, yeah, it was it a was... little harsh, but, you know. Um, Did you listen to that interview that she had done with, was it ESPN? No. Where they asked her about if she could go back in time, and she's like, no, I can't go back in time. That's what she said? Yeah, and then they were, like, super pissed about it. I actually thought it was hilarious. Yeah, well, you know. Well, because... It's a theoretical that you're answering literal. Right. So. Yeah, yeah, but she was just confused by the question. That's and... even funnier. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it, it, was, it was It was. classic. I Like I said, I heard it on the radio. Oh, I didn't okay. actually see it, but gotcha. I just laughed. Yeah, that's pretty funny. Sounds um, like something I would say. So. Yeah, it's true. I was like, yeah. good for her. Yeah. So, um, but yeah, then they finish their little Q&A, and then they go to, they go to do a photo or whatever. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> And then uh, Triple H and uh, Angle shake hands, and then Stephanie goes to shake hands with Ronda, and she uh, refuses yep. basically. <laughs> and that, and then I don't know. Tri- ex- or Kurt Angle went to split them up because they got face yeah, to they face. Got, they got close, and Kurt Angle grabbed boobs on both sides. Yes, and then Triple H hit him in the head with the microphone. 
<laughs> it made the thud. It was great. I'm like, why did he do that? Like, he could have done anything. Yep. And, then, with a microphone? and then Rhonda started choking Triple H, yeah. and then Stephanie came over, and then they had that transition of... It, it was just... It was a little awkward. Yeah. Because it was, it was kind of like a choke slam. Yeah, kind of. Yeah, because yeah. she, like, grabbed her by the <laughs> chest, lifted her, and threw yeah. her into the table. Apparently, I don't know. From what people were saying, the table was broken already. I saw an angle where you could see that it was broken. Yeah. So... That's just kind of funny. All right, that's, yeah, she that's what gingerly I placed her on a broken table. <laughs> yeah, I, I guess that's true. We can't have this happen before WrestleMania. Imagine if she got a bad splinter, got an infection, <laughs> and then she couldn't wrestle. Uh, yeah, well, that, that is one thing, though. They had a lot of people that were competing at WrestleMania in matches it's on true. both shows. Like, key performers. Yeah. Um, and Roman and Lesnar actually did stuff besides... Mm-hmm. I guess play tug of war with the belt like they did the last time. Yep, but that that was good that they didn't do it. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> I should true. say yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, that that was that the end of that segment. Yeah, you know mm-hmm. it was nothing surprising. No. Uh, Stephanie and Triple H went out on top because mm-hmm. you know they got to look strong before uh, the ultimate <laughs> defeat. Yeah, pretty much. Um, so. Uh, up the, next, we had Bailey and against Sonya Deville. Yeah, I think this match we've seen a handful of times. Uh, or we at least saw exactly this match like a week ago. Was it exactly? Yeah. yeah. the The only difference I think is the fact that uh, Bailey actually won this time. I think the last time Bailey lost, and then she got attacked but, at the end of the match. Oh, okay. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> it's just funny. Yeah. But anyway, yeah, she came out, or she won with a roll up. Mm-hmm. Bailey, that is. Yeah. And then Sasha came out for the save, and then. Bailey said, I didn't need you, and it was building to nothing. Yes. I mean, I'm sure down the line, maybe SummerSlam will get the eventual match. It or, could happen before that. Or a big... I, I, I still believe that the intention was to have it at WrestleMania. Oh, absolutely. But they decided. Either ran out of room, or they weren't sure if they were fully invested in it, or I don't know what yeah. the deal is. But so I would have I looked forward to this match. It would have been a good stage for it, but... Having it at SummerSlam would be nice. If they continue to have it play into other mm-hmm. um, other feuds, that would be cool too. Like heading into Money in the Bank, if they're right. both in that match. Well, uh, honestly, I thought for a second that it was going to end up being like a fatal four-way for the women's title at Mania. With those two inserted in Nia and Bliss, just for the simple fact that... I guess, like, but it really didn't make any sense. No, but I don't think... Going, I still going don't think, back before the Elimination Chamber, it's possible. Like, right afterwards, yeah, could have, but... Because I, I still don't feel like Bliss and Jax is a WrestleMania-worthy no, match. No, it really isn't. Should be on the pre-show. Uh, there's a chance that we could be pleasantly surprised. Yeah, it was going to be like last year, right, with the SmackDown Women's Championship, I think it was, the originally. Six, the six-way? Yeah, that was originally slated for the pre-show, and then people were complaining, so it got placed on the main card. I, I think that was that. So. Yeah, and that that was the match that we thought might have gotten scrapped. Right. Yes. Because it, it didn't. Went on yeah. Last. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. So I guess it was announced during Raw, right? Mm-hmm. The pre-show. Yes. Which will be the two battle royals and the cruiserweight championship match. So. Yeah, it's official. Mm-hmm. So that was that. Yeah. Um, and then uh, another ask of package talking about streak blah yeah blah, blah. yeah and then we got a really good match between well, uh finn and seth it's pretty long too yeah yeah they gave it time um there was a few moments where i was like oh he's gonna do it again like when they teased the buckle bomb on oh, the outside yeah. i was like you son of a bitch don't do this again yeah um they even referenced i think mm-hmm. the injury yeah and um the but, Miz was on commentary yes too. and he talked about being a new dad the entire time mm-hmm. which uh I mean, it didn't really take away from the match, but no. it really wasn't necessary. But it got, he is involved with the feud, so I yeah. get why they did it. Well, it also the fact that, you know, it, it kind of, like, is like, this is what he's fighting for now, blah, blah, blah. Right, he's and it was motivation. odd that he was putting both of the men over. Um, I had this thought after last night. You think there's a chance he might turn face at some point? I mean... Because he's been acting awfully facey. It's true. Especially, but, I know that promo is technically not, like, canon last night. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But still, that just the way he was acting on Raw. 
I mean, there's always a chance, but he's so good as a heel. It's true, that, well, but why would you? He would have so much support if he acted the same. He mm-hmm. was just a good guy. Yeah. Even if they had, he had the Miz Taraj, but they were still right. Like, it would work. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, because I, I was thinking, well, like, cause maybe there's a chance. I guess there was rumors going around that after Mania, because I'm, I'm sure Miz is going to take some time off to be with his family and mm-hmm. whatnot, that uh, the Finn and Miz, uh, Finn and Seth feud will continue, and Finn will be turn heel, and I guess yeah, they'll have the sense. heel Balor Club versus Seth. Seth. <laughs> Just Seth. Yeah. Well. Yeah. That makes sense. Yeah, so I don't know. The club are already technically heels mm-hmm. anyway, so. I mean, kind of. Kind of. I don't know. I don't know. Right now, they're more of a comedy act. Yeah. Well, they've always kind of been that yeah, way. It's true. just depending. They're very entertaining, though, so it works. Yeah, well, most of their acts have been entertaining. When they were feuding with the New Day, it wasn't very good. Well, that was kind of before they really <laughs> got established. It's true. With uh, those when they had their lab coats, and yeah, with Dana Brooke or whatever, yeah, yeah, it was weird. Yeah. Anyway, yep. Um, Seth wins. He hits the stop on mm-hmm. Finn. Yeah, they had a, a good back and forth. It was uh, it was a good it was a very it, hard hitting match. Um, nothing that we shouldn't really expect from these two, mm-hmm. to be perfectly honest. A little surprising we got that quality of a match right before the pay per view, though. Yeah. Um, Not that I'm complaining. Because yeah, Finn. Again, showing showcasing his uh, creepiness, with that big ass smile that he's always got, he's always rocking. Why is it, this guy smiling? Yeah, he. It's really funny because I guess ever since they kind of started teaming him with the club again, all he does is smile like that. Even in that, like the the like the uh, promotional pictures. Yeah, the one where he's got like the. the oh yeah, <laughs> yeah the, the, he's got a big yeah. ass smile on yeah. his face. Yeah, but uh. But yeah, mm-hmm. it, was a, it was a good match, good good uh, good chunk of Raw. Yeah, no, absolutely. Yeah. It was a nice cha- uh, change of pace. It was. Good stuff. And yep. then, like I said, Miz on commentary was good, too. Yeah. And then we got a universal title, I guess, video package. Yeah. Just, you know, that was, Talking again. about Lesnar's reign and stuff like that. Yeah. Um, so, Kurt Angle is an idiot. Yeah. <laughs> They they show him going into or they show him in the back talking to Paul Heyman, mm-hmm. and he's like, "I already have one match in Jeopardy, right?" I think that's I, I what he said. I don't know. There was, was this happened a couple to. times. Didn't yeah, it? I know. But uh, what match was he referring to? So it's someone. I can't remember now. Yeah. Yeah, but he said something about like I already have one match in Jeopardy. Oh, maybe because Ronda got thrown through the table. Maybe it had maybe. something. To, I don't remember. Um, and then he said, uh, I don't need any more problems right. to Heyman mm-hmm. uh, asking him yeah, not he, to incite Roman. Right, yeah, because he didn't want to see Lesnar get hurt. <laughs> yes, and then at that point, Heyman <laughs> loses laughing. it. laughing, yep. Um, and then he's like, that's the last thing you need to worry about mm-hmm. is my client, Brock Lesnar, getting hurt. Yeah. And Kurt's like, okay, good. And that was that was it. Yep, that was it. All right, so here is the best part of the night. Yeah, this definitely was. So um, uh, take us through it. All right, so the bar come out, and you know they say, "Well, we don't care who Braun Strowman's partner is because we know that Braun's going to have to tag him in eventually, and that's where we're going to, you know." Which is one hundred percent not that, true. Well, it's true. Yeah. yeah, there's no reason why he needs to do that. That's that very true. I mean, after he saw with the mix and match challenge with uh, Oscar, I was gonna say there was no reason for Oscar ever to tag, tag the Miz in, <laughs> but she did anyway. Yeah. Oh, that that was fantastic. Though, how they played that whole thing up. Mm-hmm. But um, but yeah, and then Braun comes out and he says, "Well, they're making me pick a partner, so I have one. Mm-hmm. And if you guys want to know who it is." You'll have to, or he wants to face one of you. Mm-hmm. So he said, "Of course, we'll we'll take this advantage." Or, no, they said, "Oh, you normally we wouldn't agree with the crowd because the crowd was chanting yes at this point." Yeah. But, but how can we say no? Mm-hmm. So Braun goes. He starts to walk to the back, and he goes, and then he turns around, and he's like, "He's an awful lot like me." And then he goes to the back. A couple seconds go by. And then Braun's music hits again. Yep. And all of a sudden, it's <laughs> Brain Strowman, who we find out, Who's which wearing... is yeah, he had a shirt and then like a button-down shirt yeah. and like a pair of uh, Bubba Ray Dudley glasses. <laughs> and Corey sold the hell out of it because yeah. he's like, "Oh my God, look at the size of that man!" <laughs> 
And then they gets to the ring. Well, and yeah. Well, off. first he he gets on the microphone. And he says, "You met my brother Braun. Well, I'm Brain. So now we have Brain and Braun Strowman." Yep. <laughs> and then and then he gets in the ring. The match starts. And then he takes the shirt and the glasses off. <laughs> and Corey goes, "Oh my God, it's Braun Strowman." <laughs> Uh, that Corey was, was on fire this week. Yeah, and then nothing happened. Oh no! The no, bar no. tried to get advantage, and yeah. Braun the, the fended didn't him even off. Happen, right? No, it didn't happen. Yeah, no, I don't was... even think the bell rang. No, I think no, as soon as he got in the ring, he took it off. Yeah. Oh, and then, and then they, you know, kind of just ran away. I believe. Yep. So, and then we have uh, Gold Dust. I guess talking about being in the Entree the Giant Battle Royal, right? Mm -hmm. And then apparently. He was facing Matt Hardy tonight. Yeah, so, I guess. Yeah, so then they had the little Matt Hardy thing. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, Goldust is up for deletion. Yeah, yeah. yeah just... <clears throat> and then uh, then they have the match. And, yeah. And, uh, you know, it was a, a couple old men going at it. Pretty much, yeah. Yeah. And Matt won with a twist of fate. Mm -hmm. I mean, they, they gave the match a little bit. There was oh, yeah. moments where I figured it was going to end, and it didn't. Yeah. Um, but... And then after the match... Uh, Matt goes to the Andre. Uh, oh, the trophy. Trophy, and he starts talking to it. <laughs> and then they cut the commercial. It was strange. I mean, I know I, it's Matt Hardy, but. I'd be 100% okay with him winning. <laughs> oh, absolutely. Yeah. There's not many people who kind of. It's an odd. Can I mean, win this. How many people are usually in it? Uh, Is there actually it's a usually certain like number? 30. Yeah. So. And, and right now they've it's, had, like. Tag teams 10. and jobbers. Yeah, that's basically. So there's it. no, there's. It's not like last year where it was like, I think Braun was in it, right? And we kind of thought he was gonna win. Yeah, he got eliminated early. I think. Yeah, I think everybody got him, right? Yeah, Something and like then that. the same thing a year before, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. Um, last year with Mojo, mm -hmm. didn't expect that. Um, Should have had Jinder win. It would have at least made a little it sense. It would have made a his, lot more. I sense. mean, you did nothing with Mojo. Yeah. Nothing. Literal nothing. Yep. Um, we'll, we'll get, we'll get to that probably right. on our prediction. All right. So I have a question for you, Matt. Wow. How do you make a promo even worse? Because up next we have Mickey James and Alexa oh, oh, cutting okay. a terrible promo yeah. on Nia yeah. call, talking about her blubbering about her blubber. Yeah. And we put the words on the screen. Mm -hmm. Like, mm -hmm. <sighs> I guess the answer to your question is put <laughs> words on the screen. Is that how you get worse? Yes. You get a promo that's yeah. worse. Oh. More bullying. Just, I'm done. I, I don't care about this. Yeah. Well, the good news is the good guy's going to get hers in the end. Com comeuppance? Yeah. Or the bad guy's going to get their comeuppance? Well, I, I yeah. meant that. No, I yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I, I know yeah. exactly what you meant. So, but. That's good. Yeah. At least. Again, doesn't feel. I, I mean, I, I can't imagine this match going longer than five minutes unless it's all Alexa running out of the ring, back in the ring. It, it might ring. be a good amount of that. Yeah. Or we have some randomness where Carmella just is able to cash in on her or something like that. Yeah, it'd be okay, too. Just just yeah. to throw something different in there. Yeah, since, yeah. Since it's... Well, we'll get to it during SmackDown. Or, or Nia is so mad that she gets herself disqualified. Yeah. Alexa's dead. Yeah, and, and then Carmella, Carmella yeah, comes yeah, yeah. out. That's what we told. I, I think I mentioned that. Yeah, I think yeah. that's that's a real possibility. And, I would you know, be okay Carmella's with Carmella's been going a little crazy with her briefcase lately. Yep. She's like, the refs keeps on taking too long. Yeah. Mm -hmm. anyway yep so cena then comes out and uh says that oh, looks like the answer is no from undertaker because he didn't say anything nothing um and then he's like i tried in dallas i tried in wherever um but you know what i didn't try here and yeah. then he or they does, were in atlanta right yeah, yeah he gets, atlanta he, yeah he gets uh he gets the crowd riled up again and still nothing mm -hmm. and he's like oh i guess i'm going as a fan that was it. Which I'm okay with. Yeah. Um, Although he did, uh, he did say, "Dead man walking." Yes, he did. So, I think a lot of people are speculating that that means uh, it will be the American badass, mm -hmm. which I am 100 percent okay with. I kind of want to go back and listen to the 25th anniversary promo that the Undertaker cut. It was horrible. I know, but I'm just curious if there was anything in there that I missed. I, no, I think it's just an old man rambling. Mm -hmm. I don't think there was any. <laughs> he didn't know where he anything. was. He was confused. Um, Thought he was at the bus stop. That's definitely possible. <laughs> um, yeah, that was. It was not not good. So. Which yeah, I, I had an idea of what they should have done. But. Having having him come back for that was probably a really bad idea. 
Oh, for, yeah, for yeah, I, for just for made not no setting sense. anything up and yeah, if they built it from then on out, yeah, that would have been fine. Yeah. But I think in retrospect, it really wasn't a yeah, good because I mean, there. I'm, I'm hearing that he may show up at Mania. They may just do a segment together. There might not even be a match. It's true. They really did leave it up in the open. Yeah, it's so. But we yeah, I had see. an idea of what they should have done, but I'll talk about it when we get to the main event. All right. Yeah. But um, what else happened? Uh, uh, Angle does the same thing with Roman. Mm-hmm. They asked him not to get, I guess, upset and start oh, attacking right. yeah. Brock. Mm-hmm. Um, and then uh, we have an Elias segment. Mm-hmm. He goes to sing. And then Heath Slater, before he even comes out, Heath Slater's music hits, yep. which and is strange. What did Rhino wear a shirt that said, I walk with Heath or something I like that? I walk with Slater. <laughs> or Slater, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, no, Elias hits the uh, drift, away. drift away very quickly. Mm-hmm. It was probably two or three minutes. It was the average length mm-hmm. of a Heath Slater match. Yeah. And then we got the second best part of the night, or it could have been, you know, it was, tied for it was the other there. one. So backstage, Kurt Hawkins. Well, actually, we see Braun walking around, yeah. and he walks up to Kurt Hawkins, and <laughs> Kurt has a shirt on that says "Pick Me, Braun," <laughs> and <laughs> Kurt's like, uh, 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 "I know you, you know, you're looking for a partner, and uh, I, I figured I could be your partner." Braun's like, "How's your win loss record?" <laughs> Kurt's like, "Well, you know, let's not get into that. But after I become your t- your tag team partner, then you know." He's like, that'll be my big break. And then Braun looks at him and then throws him through a wall. (laughs) And then he's like, there's your big break. Good stuff. It was good. Yeah. I mean, the paper thin wall. Well, (laughs) it was so bad, but it was good. It was entertaining. Yep. Yeah. Um, Yeah. And then uh, Nia Jax does an interview herself talking Mm. about how she was. Was it with Renee? I believe so. How, you know, her. I guess her struggles in life and stuff like that, and again trying to get sympathy. Yeah, and uh, so yeah. Which, again, all right. I'm just glad this is gonna be over. Yeah, yeah. I hope so. Anyway, uh, you never know. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> Up next, we have the bullies taking on Dana Brooke and Oscar, which is a very interesting pairing. I guess the only reason to have uh, an, uh, a partner for Oscar in this match is so they got beat up for a while, and then eventually Oscar could get tagged in. It's true. Um, although Dana seems to be a little better than she was the last time yeah, she really wrestled. She never gets TV time at I all. So That's... so maybe she has been improving. I mean, granted, I think she did eliminate Kyrie Sane from the Rumble. Yeah, but that really doesn't matter. No, I know, but I mean... It's... You Still, know. I know what you mean. Yeah. Um, and uh, so, yeah, Mickey taps out to the Oscar lock. Mm-hmm. It wasn't a particularly no, long or interesting it, Exactly what I had said happened, happened, basically. Dana was isolated for a while and makes the hot tag. And yep. That was that. Um, um, after the match, Bliss attacks Asuka, and Mickey mm-hmm. James joins in. Then Nia Jax music hits. She comes out, and then uh, Alexa and Mickey run away. Mm-hmm. And then... Right before the main event, Kurt Angle was backstage with Paul Heyman, pleading with him to not do anything to insight, you know. Roman Reigns. Roman He's Reigns. a loose cannon. Yes. And then, I guess did, he didn't say that there was going to be superstars out there, right? No. No? no. They just showed up? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. So, they come out. Mm-hmm. Um, they Heyman walk and Lesnar, past, that is, yeah. Yeah. They walk past the mid-card. Mm-hmm. Or, or, I guess, the, it was the, the tag, tag team teams. divisions, basically. Yeah. Um, and then <laughs> Heyman's like, I don't know why they're out here, but they can stay out here if they want. Um, uh, but yeah, he goes on about how it wasn't a bad promo. No, 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 it wasn't bad, but it was not memorable, I guess. No, but it, it, it hasn't dragged on like a lot of Heyman's promos yeah. have in recent times um but yeah he says that brock's gonna win and mm-hmm. if he doesn't win then the two of them will be gone forever yep which uh, uh, well i don't know I, I think that was really said to kind of throw the obviousness of roman going over i guess maybe or it's them finally listening get rid of brock get rid of brock but we not, have Bobby Lashley that's going to show needed. up. That's fine. He's going to fight Brock. Well, we don't know that's going to no, happen. No, I know. I know it's rumored. I would be okay with that. It'd be fine. It makes yeah, sense. It would. But, uh, yeah, Roman comes out, 
and all of the, well, tag team's kind of standing his way. And then Roman kind of gives, you know, well, why the hell are you standing in front of this part-timer? You guys are here every week just like me, busting busting your asses. And then they're like, oh. like that's, that's a good point. point. Yeah. yeah, exactly. And then we get Roman going into the ring. Uh-huh. He's kind of uh, just staring face-to-face with Brock. And then mm-hmm. Brock I honestly rolls out that, of the ring. I, I had a feeling that they were going to just end with the two staring at each other. Something like that, Because yeah. it was getting kind of late at that point. Yeah, yeah. It was a couple minutes after 11, yeah. I think. But... I, Oddly enough, Brock kind of like rolls out of the ring like cowardly yeah. from from the look of mm-hmm. it. And he goes and grabs a chair and goes back in the ring. And I think Roman went at him at this yep. point, right? He charged him. And he hit what, five su- or four Superman punches. Yeah, it was a number, that's yeah. for sure. And then I thought he hit a fifth one. Yeah. And I guess the chair was oh no the, he saw the belt on the ground right yeah he picked it up picked pulled it, it over up. his head yep crowd and, went nuts yeah oh yeah yeah no this so they got what they wanted to yeah. accomplish yeah there's no denying that yeah so that that's a good sign mm-hmm. at the very least yeah um and then lesnar gets up hits him with the half five after roman i guess thought he took care of him or whatever mm-hmm. and then Rome, the show ends with roman on the ground so they kind of accomplished what they wanted like you said right um they got roman i don't want to say over but they got they got the fans behind him and at least a little bit he had a legitimate story you know i mean this was this was actually yeah yeah yeah, it was good but anyway so apparently after the show went off the air john Uh cena came down to save roman Uh they should have left it you know, at the end, mm. and then you could have had, like, The Undertaker come on the screen and be like, no, John, I'm here for you, or something like that, or don't put your nose in other people's business because you got business with me. Something like that. Eh, I guess it's something they could have done. Ah, just... But, well, the problem is the fact that it w- wouldn't have made sense for John Cena to come out. I know, but he did him. after the show. Yes, but that was... Like, it, yeah, so I guess it was for the, the live show. crowd, yeah. yeah. But, so... But, but yeah, so anyway, the the only things that we were hoping to get accomplished on Raw did not get accomplished. Yeah, we don't know who Braun's partner is. Yep. We don't know if the match between John Cena and Undertaker but, is going to happen. But I'm okay with that because now we have surprises going into Mania. Yeah, the surprises are nice. They I, are. I, I like I unless like they're them. terrible. Yeah, but oh, like uh, last year with the Hardys coming back, that was no, a surprise. That was, that was yeah. good. Um, but one thing I, I forgot to mention during the. The brain Strowman segment when he said he was going to be a lot like me, I was like, "Oh no, it's going to be the Big Show." Well, I was thinking <laughs> that um, that when he, that line made it seem like yeah. it was going to be him. Yeah. But uh, anyway. Yeah. It wasn't. It mm-hmm. was funny. It was good stuff. Yep. All right. Moving on to SmackDown. Yeah, and it was basically a mirror image of Raw. Yeah, except for this one felt more like a commercial. Yeah so (laughs) yeah well i mean everything was in place already it's true there there was literally nothing to build on yeah and i really wasn't a fan of the opening segment no it was not good it was not good it was awkward it was Mm -hmm. weird and i feel like they backtracked during the segment yes well like they were saying confused well they were well yeah i think he forgot his lines yeah Uh, they were saying like they were on the same page and then all of a sudden it was like Wait, what? Yeah, a McMahon, it just, and then it, they just yep. like circled around. Well, no, and I was Shane, like, uh, Daniel Bryan kind of called him or called him out on yeah. messing up. That's right. really what that was. Yeah, it's like you just said that. <laughs> um, anyway, uh, the two of them come out. Mm-hmm. They kind of apologize for what they, what Kevin and and Sammy have done to them, yeah. turning them against each other, kind yeah. of. So. Um, Writing their wrongs. And then uh, Brian suggests that they hug it out. Shane goes, I'm not really a hugger. <laughs> and then they do they do get a they do hug. And then they hug again. Well no, they only hugged once. No, they hugged twice. They did? Yeah, they hugged again later on at at the end of the segment. Oh, so yeah. they only hugged no, once. It, yeah. Anyway. It um so Shane's like, Oh, that felt good. It's weird. <laughs> it was weird. And then maybe I need to be more in touch with my emotions. And then Charlotte's music hits. Yep. They I, I don't really mind that they no, do it, but it's, it's just fine. odd. It's just you usually expect it to be someone related to the segment, so you kind of get thrown off. Mm-hmm. Like, why is that music hitting? And then he's like, oh, I guess that's just the next thing coming up. So Charlotte Flair went down and beat both of them up. Yeah. Well, she did beat up a man later on that night. She did. Yeah. Um, anyway, Charlotte versus Natalia came yeah, we next. Were, we were supposed to get this match last week, but mm. Charlotte was not 
present, yes. so we got it this week. Um, they so, put on a decent match. Yeah, this is the same exact thing that happened two weeks ago, though. Yes, but a different outcome. Yes, because um, I guess Charlotte and Natalia both down. Mm -hmm. Carmella's music hits. She brings the referee down. Mm -hmm. Take too long to, uh, to ring the bell. Charlotte gets up, kicks um, Carmella. Natalia tries to attack her from behind, but um, is unsuccessful. Yep. Charlotte rolls her, or I guess puts her in the figure eight. And, and Natalia um, taps out. Yes. And that so. was that. And then Asuka comes out. Yes, this was the different part. Yeah. And says that the queen is going to bow down to the empress at yeah. Mania. Mm -hmm. Except I think Charlotte cut, off, cut her off, right? No, she's, she finished her line. Oh, okay. She's like, I'm ready for Asuka. Yeah, and that was, that was it. And but, then they stare at the sign. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> you know, I mean... I still think there's a possibility that Charlotte ends the streak. That's possible. This is one and of the few that are kind of up in the air. I would be 100% okay with it. Uh, I would as well. Because there's only one other person that's going to end the streak. Wait, did you say Rousey? Yep. That's not 100% true. No, they, I mean... Right now, right now yeah. it seems like yeah. that. Um, but... But let's... It's WWE. That's true. We know what their uh, intentions are. Yeah. Because... It's, if if the story is like set up properly, you could give it to Sasha. You could give it to Bailey. You could give it to well, absolutely. You could give it to really anybody if if built properly. It's true, but there are, there are obviously people who aren't going to do it. Like Alexa wasn't going to do it. Mm -hmm. Naya was feasible, but I don't think at the point at this point she really has the momentum. Mm -hmm. No, and I think they wanted. You know, if Asuka does win, keep them separated. Maybe yeah. to have something down the line or something like mm -hmm. that. It's true. Um. But yeah, I, I, definitely a match. I'm, I'm really looking should, forward to it. Should be a good that. match. I, we got a little bit of a preview in the Mixed Match Challenge. Mm -hmm. They seem to work pretty yeah. well together. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah. Yeah, and I feel like they're going to go balls to the wall, as you say. It's going to be a longer match than the Raw Women's yeah. Championship. <laughs> it's like 10 times the length of the... Yeah, yeah. The that. quality might be a little better, too. Yeah. Maybe. You, you think? Yeah. Do you think? It's possible. Yeah. Anyway, AJ is, I guess, interviewed, kind of. He was more like talking at the camera. Yeah. I guess it was an interview segment that wasn't an official interview. It was just um, them prepping, you know, yeah. talking about the match of mm -hmm. Mania, basically. Yeah, they were hyping the match. Mm -hmm. uh, he says, oh, Shinsuke says that I'm too emotional. Mm -hmm. But, you know, I am emotional, but that's all right, because all my emotion goes into my phenomenal forearm. Very cartoony stuff. <laughs> <laughs> um dust falling and he's like shinsuke he's got a problem because he's taking me too lightly and that's yep. about it and he says he's gonna win yeah obviously because mm -hmm. he's the wwe champion yes uh and then up next we got rusev versus jinder yes um bob Roode on commentary yes yes that's right bobby Roode came out first mm -hmm. um and uh jinder's Sing brother, whichever one it was, because we're not sure. I think I think it's, it's Sunil. Sunil. Okay. I think so. Well, he came out and did his uh, rendition of uh, Aiden English, mm -hmm. introducing yep. Rusev. Yep. He introduced Jinder. Mm -hmm. So that was something. Aiden English is much better than. Oh he is, yeah. Believe it or yes. Because um, Aiden might be like an obnoxious heel, but he's but actually he's in the perfect role. Yeah. Right? It's funny because they found they took him in a horrible horrible tag team gimmick they and were your favorite tag team and they NXT. found no they weren't yes they were <laughs> anyway um they found the perfect role for him a hundred percent by accident that's the best part because i i think it just kind of happened because it was oh, probably it was would they get put in a tag match together or be, and it was only because Gender, uh, not gender. Oh, it was when Orton and Rusev, Rusev were, were feuding. feuding. That's right. And Aiden English was, was kind of just like Orton, the vehicle. Right? It will, yeah, because yeah. he was just facing Orton to like kind right. of buffer the yeah. matches between him and Rusev. Mm -hmm. So it's funny how that kind of all came together. Yeah. So uh, anyway. Yeah. I mean, so Rusev had pretty much control the entire time, more or less. Um, it looked like Sunil tried to get involved with the match and or, Rusev just kicks him. Yep. And then and uh, Ginger, Jin I guess, tries to take advantage. Rusev, like, gets him off and hits him with the Machka kick yep. for the win. Yeah, I think, what, did he go for a Coloss and then reversed it, maybe? Uh, I don't It's possible. I would assume like that's that. what he went for. I remember, um, I remember the sequence, just don't remember the move. Yeah. So 
after the match, uh, English and Rusev are celebrating in the ring, mm-hmm. and then they're cutting to, like cutting around the camera to the arena, looking at Rude and stuff like that. And then they go back to the ring, a very close up on on uh, Rusev, and then Randy Orton runs in, hits him with an RKO on the door. That's it. Yeah. Um, and then English was not happy about that, so he goes no. on the top rope, and then Bobby Roode gets up and just throws him into, into an, an RKO, RKO. Yep. which was pretty cool. Yeah, it wasn't bad. Um, so actually, the, not this has anything to do with it, but earlier on in the match, <laughs> Corey Graves was saying something about like uh, how uh, were they in Nashville? Last yes, night? yeah, they were in Nashville. They said he said that they were looking to change <laughs> the nickname of it to Rusev. Some yeah, yeah, yeah. day or something like it's that. Not, yeah, Bobby Roode like just because they had they had the camera on Bobby Roode. Yeah. And he kind of looked over. was like, what is wrong with you? It was funny. Also during, I think it was the sequence with Bobby Roode and Randy Orton in the ring, uh-huh. and there was either RKO or Randy chance going on, and then they slowly changed over to, to Rusev, Rusev Day, day. Yep. and Randy mouthed Rusev Day in the ring, and it was just the weirdest thing. I think it was just like really Rusev Day. Yeah. That's what you guys are chanting. Yep. About? Um, so this is a little bit of news we heard today. I don't know the legitimacy of well, it, yeah, but there's no really. It proof. said that uh, Rusev was actually interested in, or I was asking for his release about a month or so ago, and uh, that was the reason that he was inserted into the U.S. title match. Yeah, which so. we had heard rumors of it in the past, mm-hmm. probably well, during, him, him and Lana, yeah. I believe. But you know, you can't really blame him. You know, he's. The most, yeah. the most over guy in the company right Why, now. Wouldn't you just take advantage of something that's working? It's just yeah. it. The amount it of Rusev Day shirts sense. I'm sure they sold. Oh yeah, forget about it. Yeah. And the signs in the audience every week. Uh-huh. The chance that put Echo Daniel threw... Bryan and Rusev together. Yeah, well, <laughs> the chants that are happening on Raw, the show that he's not mm-hmm. even on. So, whatever. there was an event. Maybe it was last month. Hold on uh, one second. Uh, I don't think we've heard CM Punk chants in a while. Um, maybe this they, is replacing oh, it. Speaking of which, Daniel Bryan was getting what in last night? Yeah, in that the beginning. was just them being stupid. Uh, you know. But anyway, what I was saying is that at a Ring of Honor event, they broke into a Rusev Day chant. They did? <laughs> yes. I believe it. <laughs> very, very strange. It's the cool thing to do. It's fun. Yeah. I like it because I like Rusev. Yeah. It, it is a good... Uh, it's so good. It really yep. is. It's yep, a shame. Yep. And then we get the counter to the AJ interview with uh, Shinsuke. Shinsuke. Yeah, and he says he will be ready to capitalize on AJ's mistakes. Yes. So. And he, and he doesn't take him lightly. Right, right. Also, AJ and his from before, he said that this isn't the Tokyo Dome. Mm. So, which really doesn't mean anything, but whatever. Yep. Them referencing yeah. other promotions. Yeah. <laughs> and then we have the, uh, the New Day... Uh, Promoting the uh, free network mm-hmm. subscription it's for the free. Month. Yeah, WrestleMania is free if you subscribe yeah. to the network. Um, and then Big E was pulling things out of pan- his pants and oh, I can, Kofi's I pants. I can watch this on my phone. Yeah. I can watch this on my tablet. Yeah. I watched this on my pancake that he took out of his <laughs> pants. And then he was going to eventually pull an Xbox out of Xavier Woods' There's pants. Trying. And that's when the Usos came up, right? Yeah. And then... I don't remember exactly what they, they, they said. They said that it, it doesn't matter how you watch it. Oh, right, because you're going to watch us beat you or yeah. whatever, something like that. And then it ended with the Bludgeon Brothers showing up with their hammers and yeah. smashing the camera. Well, yeah, they came over, they removed their hoods, and then Harper just took the mallet and hit the camera with it. Yep, or, that was it. Kind of, like, attempted or went at the camera with it. Yeah. Anyway. And then we had a mish, mash, whatever the hell you want to call it, match. Uh Eight man tag. We this got was the Andre the Giant competitors. Yes, yeah. we got Zack Ryder, Ty Dillinger, and uh, Tyler Breeze and Fandango. Who's Breeze Ainge? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> anyway, um, against Dolph Ziggler, Mojo Rawley, Baron Corbin, and Primo <laughs> Cologne. Didn't even like, know they still work for the company. And where's Epico? He wasn't on the post or on the thing. Uh, Primo he, was. He was probably still injured. Maybe. I don't know. I think but they took turns being injured. That's it's possible. It was very know. funny, though. Yeah. But, um, the, yeah, this was just them, everybody throwing each other over. The, it was just typical. Yeah. <laughs> it uh, was so standard. Corbin eventually pins Fandango with uh, the, the end of days, days yep. and that was it. And he really should be the one to go over here. 
I mean, oh, in the in the battle and, royal. <laughs> this this Dolph Ziggler thing, I just don't get. What the fact that he came back just to be a he lower mid carder? He was in the main event at Fast Lane. Well, so was Corbin. Uh, true. So that really doesn't mean anything. Well, yeah, but Corbin was kind of just. I feel Fair. like th- yeah, I guess. But I Ziggler signed a new contract. He wasn't on TV for so long. Mm-hmm. There were so many weird things going on, yeah. and this is all him being in the Andre the Giant battle. Yeah, the only thing I can think of is something down the line. They yeah, just I was need... gonna say maybe they just were waiting for everything to play out and yeah. Um, on Monday, when everything starts fresh, that's when they'll pull the trigger on something. Mm-hmm. Or it's going to be the same nonsense. Definitely possible. It's true. Because uh, it really doesn't fit anywhere. No, no, no. no. Not, not right now. It's, yeah, it's, it's, I mean, there's, they there's, have a good problem, but it's... There's too many good talents to really waste time with him. Because he's kind wow, of... That was harsh. It's true, though, because he's... He's had his time, and you know it's true. He's not he's not John Cena, who true. feels natural getting thrown back into the mm-hmm. main event picture. Yeah. Oh, um, going back to what we talked about with uh, John Cena promo, uh-huh. he said that um, that like the reason why he wants to have this match is because no one's losing. Oh he's right, not right, taking right. He's not taking spot a spot. Yep. By facing the Undertaker, mm-hmm. because he's not. He's not going after for a title or anything like that. He's not true. facing a an up and coming talent. So you know, it was a nice little mm-hmm. nod. They're saying it's like this is just. It was meant to be like a just a fight for a just fight. something for the yeah yeah and for something that everybody wanted to see. Mm-hmm. So that, that was it. It was a nice call out. Mm-hmm. Um, we got a Benjamin and Gable phone promo. Mm-hmm. They said they plan on ruining the uh, the dream match. Because later on they have a tag yeah. team match against uh, Shinsuke and AJ. Hey, at least, yeah. They gave Benjamin and Gable something to do, at least. Are they going to be in the Andre the Giant Battle Royal? I'd imagine, because oh. they're not doing anything I mean, else. I would assume, but, you um, know. But, yeah, they said mm-hmm. they're just going to injure the two of them so they won't make it to yep. Sunday. Yeah. And I guess we went to the announcer's desk, and they were talking. And Probably all... talking about the, the network, network being free again. That'd be my <laughs> that guess. makes the only, you know. Yeah. The only logical thing to talk about. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, we see Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens come through the crowd and stand on the announce table. There was just two microphones gently placed on the table for them. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, they they basically said that they're going to take care of business on Sunday. And um, I forget what exactly they were going on about. But I, Well, they said that we might be fired now, but we're going to get our jobs right. back. Oh, and-, and speaking of which... Shane and Daniel Bryan constantly said they'll no longer be on SmackDown Live. They had didn't say they will be fired from the WWE or anything like that. So there's a chance I, they could lose and then go to Raw. It's possible. I wasn't paying that close of attention. Yeah, I did notice it because they said it a couple times. It's possible. Yeah. Um, which makes no sense because they both came from Raw. <laughs> and they weren't. No, I mean, Kevin Owens was Universal Champion. But, yeah, but Sami Zayn was buried. Whatever. Um, but I, I don't know. It's hard to say. Um, anyway, mm. so they cut to the back. Daniel Bryan and uh, Shane are watching. Yeah, I forget because Sammy had a good, good line, a couple lines. Oh yeah, I just don't remember exactly what he was saying. Yeah, it's not that that. No, no, but it just felt yeah like it, it mm-hmm. felt le- like yeah passionate exactly. Yeah, it wasn't just. You know, uh, well, look, I'll tell you what. Since Sami Zayn had his heel turn, he's definitely kind of turned it up a lot. Mm-hmm. Um. Anyway, they they cut to the back and they say something about like, oh, let's let's show them what they deserve or something like that. Right. And then they got back to the arena. It. Uh, I guess they were getting escorted out through the crowd. Uh, no. Well, the referees were yelling at them as they uh, were standing on the announce desk, and that's when the security finally cut uh, out. Come out when they, they started, cut the microphones. And yeah. I was like, okay, you could have done that ten minutes or five minutes it's ago, true. whatever it was. Um, and then they go through the crowd, mm-hmm. and then Shane's music hits. The two of them come out. Um, Can we get a camera on them? Yeah, this will be there. the last time yeah. you see them on SmackDown. Everybody, Online. take out your phones. I guess I do remember that part, yeah. but that could have been, you know, you're never going to see them on TV anymore. Yeah, I, I guess gotcha. it was a little more. To the point, by yeah. Saying, no, I'm pretty sure he said, uh, you know, we never see them on SmackDown Live again." No, again. yeah, no, that he said. Oh, that. oh yeah, yeah, oh, okay, That's, yeah. I gotcha. But my point is that you know, technically, if oh. you don't work for the company at all, you can't be on TV. Right, right, anyway. right, right. So I gotcha. Yeah, I gotcha. Um, 
Also, I'm sure a few years from now they'll both be on SmackDown again. Probably. Um, With Jeff Jarrett and Hulk Hogan running the show. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> It'll be GFW Tuesday oh, night SmackDown. Stop. <laughs> For the love of God, stop. <laughs> anyway. They can take those beautiful titles from Impact. Moving on to our main event. So we have the tag match we talked about before, Benjamin Gable versus Shinsuke and AJ. Um, so... You think the theme will be with my baby tonight? Sung by Jeff Jarrett? Shut up, <laughs> dumbass. So so angry. Uh, this was not a particularly... No, they didn't give it much time either. No. Uh, well, the whole AJ and not the Owens and Zane yeah. thing kind of took Yeah, because it was like 9.30 at that point, and then a, uh, Shane, not Shane, uh, Sammy and Kevin came out, yeah. and then by the time this match like got up, I think it was 9.45, it was, we still had another commercial been, yeah, to go to. It was uh, around then. Um, and then, uh, but yeah, this, uh, I, it was a lot of, uh, AJ and Shinsuke not really kind of meshing. Mm-hmm. Um, I think Shinsuke tagged himself in when AJ was in at one point. Yeah. Uh, AJ walks over and it looks like he's going for a tag, but he jumps over the top rope Stands next like, to Shinsuke. Nope, exactly. Then he hits the phenomenal forearm on, I believe, Gable. Gable. Yep. Um, and then he pins him mm-hmm. after the match. AJ goes to leave, grabs his title, walks out the ramp. Uh, Benjamin G- Gable attacks Shinsuke. Mm. Uh, AJ kind of tries to go back to yep. the ring, but I think Shinsuke fended him off, yes, right? He did. And he was, and he was starting to kind of get back up. AJ went for the phenomenal forearm, landed right in front of him, and Shinsuke was kind of like covering himself. Yep. And he was like, "That close, I would have had you." Yep. Patted yep. him on the head, and that was that. Mm-hmm. That was a good way to end the show. Uh, oh yeah, it, it made fun. sense. I mean, it kind of bookended the. Uh, not bookended, but it, you know it evened out everything from right than the last last week and whatever. Yep, I mean so, they, they they had a good build for this feud. I mean, like, like I said, we really didn't need a f- build for this. Well, and that's really what they get what they delivered. Yeah, this wasn't oh, yeah, yeah, this yeah. wasn't really that much of a I build. It was I mean, I, a, I guess they talk about it being a dream match, but I, mean, I guess people are like, well, why is it a dream match? You know, but mm-hmm. I mean, it's just two good talents in the yeah. ring that you want to see. Collide they, with each other. They they built this the best way they could, without really putting too much work into it. Yeah, I mean, so. I would have been okay if they put more work into this one and less on the uh, Shane Daniel Bryan thing. Well, that was. But granted, well, we didn't know because one. there was the title matches at Fastlane mm-hmm. and the Rumble and all that other. A nonsense. lot of things needed to go. On it's true. Beforehand, it's true. So, uh, so yeah. But yeah. That was our week in review. If you liked what you saw here, please like, share, and subscribe. Oh, wait, 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 whoa, whoa. We didn't talk about uh, the Mixed, mixed match, match Challenge. challenge. Yes, yeah, I yes, yes. almost forgot there. Yeah. Um, no surprise, Asuka and The Miz went over. Yeah, obviously her streak um, wasn't going to end nope. on uh, Facebook Watch. Yes. So. I mean, they did do over a, had over 100,000 viewers. So, yes, they did, so, uh, which I'm uh, guessing is probably the most. I don't think so. I think the, op- the original oh, the one first was one? something like that, mm-hmm. one or they definitely did more than that, but um, the Miz did it for the puppies. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm like, what are you talking about? I know what you mean now. Because that was their charity. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, it was, it was a good match. Uh, yeah, it wasn't bad. Charlotte put Miz in the, the figure The intensity eight. for what it was was there. Yeah. Because yeah. um, it was funny. Uh, Rude, like, was doing chops. And then Miz wandered over to Charlotte and, <laughs> and Charlotte she... chopped him too. Yeah. yeah. It was good stuff. Yeah. But yeah. Good stuff. Um what did, uh Miz got the win, right? The pin? Yeah. yeah. He hit the skull crushing That's finale right. after yeah. Oscar kicked Bobby Roo in the back. Right, because uh Bobby Roo was going for the glorious DDT. Mm-hmm. Um yeah. Did you watch two oh five or I no? did not. I heard the Kalisto and Buddy Murphy match was very good though. I believe it. So I still haven't watched last week's. I did get caught up, caught up on NXT, though, so. I'm proud of you. Yeah. But, all right. So, we will catch you guys next for our WrestleMania predictions video. Yeah, like I said before, if you liked what you saw here, please like, share, and subscribe. Bye. Bye.